Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today, guys, it is another car pickup day. Yep, it's a new project today. I've got to drive uh, middle of the country, literally um, past Leicester, uh, past Coventry. <clears throat> just keep going, just keep going. <laughs> So I think it's about three and a half hours there and about three and a half hours back. So seven round, round trip roughly, give or take. So hopefully I can do it a little bit quicker, but we'll see. Um, depends on traffic and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, it is. A, the reason why I'm going that far is because I've been watching it for a couple of weeks and I, I always put cars in my watch list. Um, and when they get to a point where I think, not worth it. I'll just take them out, my watch list. And then that leaves me with uh, normally two or three good cars to bid with on every week, roughly. Um, so that's that's what I kind of do. This is one of them. I would have liked to it to have gone a little bit over, the, to, to be honest with you, because then I haven't got to go and get it or win it. But I managed to win it. Um, and it is another project. It is another car. So... Yeah, you just got to go with it and you just got to go and, go and collect it. I could have had it sort of delivered down to me. Um, I think they wanted like £250 to deliver it. And I thought, what's it going to take? I've got my own trailer. You know what I mean? I've got my truck. That's what I got, that's what I got it for. What's it going to take me? Like a few hours and a bit of diesel. But I might as well go and get it myself. So that's what I did. What I'm going to do. Uh, that was the plan. Um, so... Yeah, but it is, yeah, it's Monday morning, guys. It's really cold out. Um, I'm sort of just about to head off. And, uh, yeah, we're going to pick it up, come back, and I'll show you what I've got. Um, but before I do, I think I think everyone everyone likes this car, I'll be honest with you, on the last video. Um, I, think, I think it's a good, I think it's a good, I think it's a good buy. Uh, and it'll be a nice run around for someone once I'm finished. Um, definitely, so... Yeah, thanks for the comments, guys. Really appreciate it. All the thumbs up. Really, really, really appreciate it. So, and it's a lovely colour. This is a really nice colour. I ain't done one of these, this colour before. I've done another blue, but not this blue. This is a really nice blue metallic. So, yeah, once, you know, I'm looking forward to cleaning it and, you know, polishing it up and making it sort of shine and pop. Uh, so, yeah, that's that one. Um, so, we've got this going on this week. I've got the Focus coming back from the paint shop. So I've got that going on as well. That's got to get finished, MOT'd. Um, and obviously I'm gonna go and pick another one up now. So that's another one. Plus I've got other little jobs going on. I've got two companies sending me two different scan tools, like diagnostic scan tools to use around here. So they want me to do um, <clears throat> an unboxing, uh, a video, a review, test it and all that sort of stuff. And then they sort of just let me have it. Um, so yeah, but what I'll do, one of them, I'm gonna give away to one of my subscribers. One of you guys is gonna win one of the scan tools that I am gonna unbox and review this week. So look out for that video um, and I'll explain everything and what is going on with that. So, but yeah, I just like to give something back. Like you guys watch my videos and you, you comment, you, you take the time to watch what I'm doing, comment on my videos, uh, and give the video a thumbs up and share if you can. Um, so I just, wherever I can, I wanna try and give something back and, and this is the case, I can definitely do that. So, because I've already got a scan tool and I've got another one coming. So I don't need three. Let's just give one away to one of you guys. So that's, yeah, that's what's coming up this week uh, at, at Resurrect uh, HQ. Um, so, let me get going. I've got to get going and get this car. Quick I'll get quick I'll get there, quick I'll get back, quick I can show you. So yeah, hopefully I've got enough time to get this video out today. This is Monday, Monday morning, so hopefully I'll get enough time to do it today. If not, it'll be tomorrow. But fingers crossed, guys, I'll get back in time and I can show you it and walk around it. So yeah. Let's do this. Right guys, I am back. That was an absolute mission. Um, I'm absolutely shattered. Did I take it out of you? Um, even though the truck's got, uh, you know, it's got cruise control, it's an automatic, it's a lot easier to drive 
those kind of journeys when it is with a manual sort of normal um yeah but i'm shattered i'm absolutely shattered listen let's let's get this video done so i can get home i can chill out and i can upload it for you guys to watch so what did we get new project let me show you here she is and yes it's a voxel corsa limited edition i've said this before about these cars and i'll say it again if i can pick up one of these cars for decent money right i'm always gonna because these cars they fly out like you would not believe they they're so easy to sell because it's 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 got like you know skirts and it's it's, it's a it's a bit of sportier car but it's a 1.2 petrol it's a 1.2 petrol but it's a little bit sportier so you know, all the first-time cars, you know, the first-time drivers, the, you know, they, they, they're like, yeah, yeah, I, I love that. Because it looks a hell of a lot different um, to the normal one. And it's a, just like I said, it's a little bit sporty. They put different wheels on, skirts, splitters and spoilers and black roof with black uh, mirrors, covers with a black roof. Um, it just looks really nice. It looks decent. And, yeah, you know... <laughs> it's just such an easy car to sell because all the youngsters they want them um especially the white one for some reason the white one is really really popular like there's just so much popular than the, than the other ones i think it's like is it red yellow um i think that was it in this one this car this car the white the red yellow might be black actually as well but yeah anyway <clears throat> it's a 1.2 Vauxhall Corsa, limited edition, and it's a 2013. So, yeah. Let's get a look around the car. Um, have I got time to clean it? I don't think I've got time to clean it, guys. I really would like to clean this car so I can really show you exactly what the damage is and where it is and, and what we need to do. But I just haven't got time to clean it, which is a real shame because I want to know and I want to see what needs to be done. But like, just looking at these these alloys, they just need a clean. Like, there's there's like I thought there was a there's a scuff there was there's, there's some scuffs around them. But when you clean them like this, they are absolutely immaculate. There's maybe a little tiny bit, but someone's someone's looking after this car. Someone is definitely looked after this car. Um, it's got four matching new tyres all round. Um, they're not... What make are they? I did see them. They're like... Land. Land sal. Um, but, they're, but, they're, but they're new. They're, they're new tyres all the way around. I've checked the brake pads and the front brake pads and, pre brake pads and front discs. And then brand new... They are brand new, guys. Check the MOT. The last MOT um, on the advisory, it 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 had uh, what happened? Oh, there was an advisory for the front uh, discs and pads. So uh, I thought, well, I better check. That was the first thing I checked. But when I checked them, they've been changed. So even though he had an advisory on the car, they've been done. Um, so. So yeah, it just everything just points towards like it's been look, well looked after this car. And so yeah, which is a, which is great. It's a good good thing really. Um, and when I've been driving it, when I drove it in here, the clutch is like so like that that it feels a brand new clutch. Literally, as soon as you lift your foot up a little bit, it bites. So I know from past experience that that has to have had a new clutch in it i just there's one thing with this car let me let me let me get around let me go around the, the actual car show you the damage and let you know what's what we've got to do um and then i'll get into the engine side of it um so on this side um i've got to clean it like i said but on this side this trim this bottom thing is obviously popped out you can see it popped out 
I'm hoping it's a case of, you know, when they're putting the forks up and lifting it, it's popped it and it, and it just needs pushing back in place. So, yeah, I'm hoping there's no damage to it. It doesn't feel like it's damaged or cracked or ripped or scratched or anything like that. It just feels like it's been popped. So I'm hoping that I can just pop that back in place. But uh, we'll have the wheels off. We'll have it on the ramp, have the wheels off, check the brakes and all, you know, all that sort of side of it. And once we're doing that side of it, I'll have a look at that <clears throat> and get that back on. So, so yeah, apart from that, this side, it's really, really good condition. It's just filthy. Um, on the back, uh, again, it's really good. It's in really, really good condition. It's got the odd mark, I'll be honest with you, but I think it's just because it's dirty. I can't tell what's what's the dirt, what's the scratches, and that's why I really, really want to get it cleaned. Um, so, what's the time? Um, it's, too, it's too late. I won't, be, I won't be able to do it. It's a real shame I can't do it, but I can't. To get your, to get the video out tonight, I cannot, I cannot clean it as well. So, but yeah, it's got a nice, it's got a nice spoiler at the back. Um, I thought it was all scuffed there, like, but it's not. It's just, again, it's just dirt. It's just dirt. Indication of what's the damage? Where's the damage, guys? The leftover headlight. So, yeah, that's uh, in pieces. But again, it looks clean. It really does look nice in here. It's got some tools. Yep, got some tools in there. All the uh, Vauxhall things. It's got reversing sensors and they work because I um, as I just, just drove it in here, it, 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 it pinged up and it works. So that's good. It's got reversing sensors for someone. Um, So this is where the damage is. It starts over this corner and then goes along to the front. So, yeah. Again, the wheel is, is in good condition. Just It's just dirty. Um, there's a couple of marks on the centre cap here, I believe. But everything else, a couple of marks there. Normally these, normally these pieces here get completely scuffed. But on this one... Really good, really good. But those, these are the kind of things that I look out for. When I'm, when I'm looking at the cars um, and the pictures are on the websites, I'm looking like really <laughs> at things like this. If, you know, if the wheels are all completely scuffed up, you think, oh, I've got to have them refurbed. That's going to cost money. Everything costs money. Everything's got a price. So you have to sort of allow for that. Um, and when I saw it, I thought, nah, these don't look scuffy at all. They look, just look dirty. And, um, yeah, they are, really. So that's really good news. Um, so, yeah. This here has got some damage on this corner. You can see this bumper here has been scuffed. I don't know if we can flat and polish uh, some of that out. We'll, we'll, we'll have a go. Um, it's, it's worth a go. This, again, I think it's got a dent here. Yeah, so it's got a, So you can see. Let me put it like that. So you can see it just here. It's got a little dent here. But I have got those um, uh, paint, uh, paintless dent removal tool. So I might just have a go at sticking a few on there and see if I can pull it out a little bit. Because it ain't bad, to be honest with you. And it's right on the edge. Possibly be able to get something behind on the tyre there and then sort of bar it. And it, it should pop back out. But we'll get into that and have a look at that. Don't you worry. I'll show you me doing that. <laughs> but again, it's got scuffs up here. So, you know, we've got to make sure we, we follow that. There's like a little line that goes around here. And it goes around this arch all the way to there. So we've got to make sure we get that back out as well to get that line. So I don't think that needs to go to the body shot. I think that part we can, we can have a little look at and sort out. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um... That's the only damage on that back quarter. Again, because it's so dirty. Ferrari and me. That there's going to be more damage. Bits and pieces. So, I think in the next video we will clean it. It's 
handle's a little bit scuffy at the bottom, but you don't really see that at the bottom. That's weird, well, it's like that. Maybe someone's ring as they're opening the door. It's banked on there, you know what I mean? It's weird. Um, but yeah, this actual door though, is, is, is okay. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, I've had a look at it and it seems to be okay. Um, mirror here is okay, but we're missing the glass. So we're gonna have to put a glass in. Looks like it's heated as well. So we'll, we'll, get, a, we'll get another glass and, and pop that in. So that's missing. Um, and then when we come to the front corner, this, this wing has definitely has got some sort of movement and damage here. Um, I don't know if you can see, if, if it will show up on camera, but it's just a little bit wavy. Um, yeah, and I don't know if that will pop out. Maybe if I take the um, the wheel liner out and then take the wheel off and then maybe heat it up both sides and have a little tap out from the back. I don't really know, guys. We might have to change this wing if I can't, but it's worth a try. It is worth a try. We have we've got the the actual the actual um, the, the the line that goes around this heart arch here seems to follow okay. So we can you know we can kind of leave that, but all this is scuffed and scratched. So uh, I just in a minute I well say I say that, but look I thought I thought all that was scuffy and scratched. But if you do, if you look at that, I reckon a lot of that will come out. So we might be able to save this wing. Um, like going from the top all the way down, it's like even like with the door until it gets to here. And then it's this wing starts to go in a little bit. And then out and then back in. It's not that bad. It ain't that bad. I thought it was worse than that, to be honest with you. So I might have a little play with that. We might be able to sort this wing out as well. And that will save us a few quid. Again, the wheel's pretty good. There's a couple of marks here. And I think there's been there's a there's a couple of touch up pens. There's someone's someone's had a go at have a little bit of a paint paint up here, touch up paint. Um, so he's got a few scuffs, but on that, those edges you've got a few there, there. But they're not that bad. Definitely seem worse. Again, new tire on the front. Good brand new discs and pads. Are they? Yeah, no, new discs and pads on the front. So that's well good. I, I'm well impressed with that. Tyres all the same, matching, new. It's just one less thing you've got to do. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can do that wing. That's okay. And then obviously this has got a, you know, a bit of a damage here. This side is absolutely fine. <clears throat> Again, just dirty, but there's no damage to the actual bumper at all. This side, none of the grills, none of the grills there. No, that headlight's absolutely fine. No damage. The bonnet is okay on that end. But the only damage to the bonnet here is this here. But it looks like someone's had a little touch-up of paint there. I don't know if this was part of the damage or it was previous. or. But someone's, someone's definitely had a go at that. So maybe because he was touching up the, the wheels and stuff, he damaged the bonnet. And wanted, I don't know. It's weird. But... But we need to, need to get this bumper off, really. I want to get behind there to see any damage um, here. You can see... Let me just open up. And you can see this, 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 is, a, this is a new expansion bottle. Coolant. Definitely new. That ain't original. Can't be. Can't be, can't be original. Um... But it looks it looks a clean it looks very clean engine um, engine bay looks clean so someone's definitely sort of been looking after it I've got a torch it's better so someone's someone's definitely looked after this guys. Um, Definitely the clutch has been done. That feels new. That definitely feels new. So that's good. But what I'm worrying, not worried about, but a little bit concerned is the timing belt on this 
If it's got, has it got a belt or chain? Hmm, I'll have to find out. If anyone knows if it's got a belt or a chain, let me know. But it's done uh, 85. Let's have a look. Yeah. So, 85,900, let's say. 85,900. Um, but, it, you know, it does, the engine's really good. Ticking over really nicely, just purring away, little 1.2. Really, really nice. So, because of because of the actual mileage, I'm thinking timing belt on this, um, and then it, it's absolutely perfect. This car, once I get rid of it, next owner has got no problems, no worries. The timing's done. I'll give it a full service as well. There's no oil leaks. It's in really good condition, really, for an 85,000 mile car engine. It's really, really good. So, so far, so good. This, you know, it's, uh, it's turning out to be a real, real nice car for someone, definitely. So all we need to do is take this bumper off. I want to have a look at the damage behind. I think this slam panel's gone because you've got a little piece here that goes in between here. That's missing. So, uh, uh, you know, it's part of... It's part of the slam panel. And obviously that water bottle as well is sort of pushed that way. So it must have, the impact must have been here on the light or something. But there's no, there's no damage to the actual bumper. It was surprising, really. It's a couple of scuffs and that, but no, there's no actual... There's a, there's a little rip here and a little, a little rip here. But that's it. I reckon that bumper, that should just pop straight back in place. Um, got a cover missing for the spotlights. We'll get, we'll get one of those. I don't think I've got one of these for this one. Um, I don't think I'll have. No, I don't think I've got one of these. So I'll have to get a cover for that, which is not a lot of money. But, yeah, what do you think so far, guys? Honestly, I, I think it's an absolute blinding little car. Great little bargain. What did I pay for this? Uh, including the fees, I paid... Um, £1,600 for this car, including the fees. But I had to go to the middle of the country to pick it up, basically. Um, but I thought, I thought, yeah, it's definitely... I, I was questioning myself a little bit on the way up there, thinking, oh, no. I hope, uh, <laughs> I hope it ain't going to sort of cost me too much money to do and I've, you know, I've wasted all this time going up here. But then coming back and looking around it, I'm now thinking... Yeah, what an absolute bargain this is. Um, it's a great little car. This is going to be a really nice car for someone. Um, obviously, I'll get an MOT done, uh, 12 months MOT. It's still got three or four months, I think, left on it. But I'll just get a new one done. Um, <clears throat> I'll get the tracking done as well. You never know. I've had a couple of these now that sort of give me give me give me a few problems when it comes to the steering. So I thought, you know, for, for like what it's, whatever it is, it's going to cost... To get the tracking done, uh, but I think, yeah, I'm I'm really I'm really sort of heading towards timing on this. Um, I'll take off all the airbox. Um, we'll have a look, see if because that's a good indication as well. Is if this air filter was new or or newish, you know, it's just had a, a service, and then maybe we'll get all this this gear off here, and then we'll take all this all this off here, and we'll have a look to see if, if the timing belt or chain has been changed or renewed. Um, there isn't any, there is, there is some booklets for this car, but there is no service history with it. So, but even the inside, look at the inside. Like, let me just get a torch. Even the inside is really nice. Seats are really good condition. Again, just the normal stuff that I do, Hoover, um, and the, uh, the good, uh, upholstery cleaner, the Karcher. That'll go all over the seats, <clears throat> but it's got original um, floor mats here. Underneath is really good condition, just needs a good clean and a sort out, really. Um, 
I think that's part of the headlight. Um, anyway, we've got a booklet, like I said. Manuals, owner's manual, but no, I'm not less in that one. I would have thought you said service, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's not in this one. Information, oh, that's for the stereo system, isn't it? And this is for the car, yeah. <clears throat> So that's a shame. We ain't got a service book. But we've got some, we've got some manuals, so that's a good thing. We've got the uh, locking wheel nut key as well. That's a great thing. Because, <laughs> oh, the amount of cars I do with missing things, um, locking wheels are unbelievable. So that's good. Um, got some manuals, got that. Um, let's have a look at the back. I'll quickly show you the back. Again, it's got the original uh, floor mats <clears throat> that come with the car. And again, they're just really good condition. And, and you know, they're a little bit dirty, a little bit thing. But someone, someone's definitely been looking after this car. And you can tell. You can tell straight away. Uh, looks like there's a little bit of something on that seat over there. I don't know if that's dirt or maybe a child's seat. Child's, a child's seat's been sitting there. So that needs good clean up. <clears throat> So yeah, I'm definitely thinking timing. I might keep saying it. Sorry. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, what a lovely little car for someone. The good thing about, like I said to you before, the good thing about going to the place I go to now for these cars is that. <clears throat> when they load them on the on the on the trailer, or when you know, when I go and pick them up, this is off. They actually take the terminals off the battery because they don't want the batteries to go dead and die, and then that causes an issue further down the line. So that's just a little bit of courteous. Do you know what I mean? Like the 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 other company that I used to use for salvage that everyone knows, they don't care. They really do not care. I don't care whose car it is. Don't care. Don't give. They don't give a crap. But this company, this the little bits and pieces that they do, just makes all the difference. Like so, if they didn't disconnect the battery, some cars batteries are absolute fortune, um, and it, they cause so many different problems. Don't, there's batteries in the boots of Audis. You can't get into them. It's just ongoing. Um, I went to when I went when I went and picked that Peugeot up. Um, there was a guy telling me that um, he went to co he went the other company. I'm not going to say it. He went to the other salvage company. <laughs> I nearly said it then. Um, and they, uh, yeah, they said it was a run and drive, like runs and drives. He went there, got dropped off, took his plates, went down there, completely dead. And he went, well, you said it run and drives. And they went, well, it did run and drive. It, we, we moved it back to forwards. They just do not care. Sorry, guys, I had to cut it off there because um, someone come to the door again. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, the other company, they just don't care. Um, everyone knows what they're like. It's all over the internet. Just Google it. You'll, you'll find loads of people just sort of, yeah, slagging them off and, and saying different things. Anyway, let's get back to this car because, like I was saying, yeah, the battery was disconnected, so I know that the battery was, was, is going to be good. Just put it back on, on place, and then, boom, fire it straight back up. Um, so I want to, yeah, so the first sort of next video, guys, I want to sort of take this bumper off. Let's have a look at behind what's going on, but I, I, I'm sus suspecting we've got to change this slam panel because that should have a piece there. It should be a piece there, and it should be one continuous, um, yeah, thing. So... Definitely got to do that. Um, let me get... Actually, where's the... What to do with the torch? What to do with the torch? Torch, torch. We can have a quick look at the crash bar. In there.
It's looking all right, to be honest with you. It is looking all right, so that's good news. Even the bottom part looks straight, looks flat. The, the you know, the, the radiator and the aircon looks no damage at all. But we never know um, till we get underneath there, till we get this bumper off. But look at that bumper there. It's got, it has got a little bit of a crease here. I might, I, might, I might be able to heat that up and push that back out or something like that. I don't know. I'm going to have to have a look at it. But I want to try and... Another reason why I went for this one is because of the actual bumper. Um, these are an absolute pain to get hold of, these bumpers, because you've got that lower splitter trim uh, spoiler thing, lower spoiler trim added to the bumper and they're a bit of a bit of a nightmare yeah people over inflate the price as well just because it's got that bit on there people think yeah i'm gonna over inflate it so uh <laughs> yeah but um but yeah it's gonna honestly guys this is gonna be a lovely lovely car for someone a nice little uh first time car or even just uh, sort of upgrade from what you've got whatever but these absolutely fly out the door um you don't have to really do a lot of um, selling to them. They sell themselves. Um, you know, it is a limited edition. There's not much limited about it, really. We, we've gone through this before on other videos, on other these ones I've done before. It's just because they've done little bits and pieces around the car, as you know. Um, and, yeah, it just they just sell, it, sell themselves. I'm actually looking at another one as well, a black one, which looks really nice. Um, but we'll see if that comes up. I want to check this windscreen because that's got a little bit scratchy there. But, um, but yeah, first impressions and looking around the car, I'm super, super impressed with it. And uh, I've not done one of these before when it comes to timing. So I would like to do it just to, just to say that I've done it, I know how to do it, and, and I, you know, we've, we've done it. So that would be pretty cool. Um, I might do that, but we'll have a look at it. But, uh, yeah. It hasn't got sort of, you know, sat nav. It's got CD player. Oh, it's got a CD in here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay. No. <laughs> it's the answer to that. No CD. Let's check the air con, though. Uh, let's check the aircon. Like that. Uh, do some of that. Hmm, yeah, that's feel cold. Yeah, 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 that's feel cold, that's good. Especially with summer coming up. Yeah, wicked. So the aircon works good. So there we go. That is that. Looked at. Got anything here? Wait, no. Let's have a look, see if the... I don't know if the Mac controller's going to work because the bonnet's open, but we'll have a go. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So, there we go, guys. The next project. A little 1.2. Um, <laughs> limited edition Vauxhall Corsa. Um, and this ain't going to... This is not going to hang around. I know, I know it's not going to sit around. I think it's going to go really quick. Um... But we'll get into this at some point this week, as well as the Peugeot. We'll get into that Rex to Riches uh, car two, episode two, um, this week as well. And um, yeah, just keep going and just uh, keep fixing the cars. Right. So that's going to be the end of today's video, guys. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Drop me a comment if you've got anything to say. And I'll see you on the next one.